Hello everybody, I'm Jamie and I welcome you to an overview of my new lecture series, Report Writing Quickies. This series looks to assist students in improving their report writing through kind of small bite-sized lectures. We'll cover everything from introduction all the way to conclusion in your reports. Today's quickie will cover the rhyme and reason for creating the Report Writing Quickie series, what we'll cover in the upcoming episodes, and finally I'm going to end with a request if you could help me out a little bit. So... Why have I created this report writing quickie series? Well, report writing is quite hard. I should know, I used to be hitting this at it myself. However, over the years, I've kind of honed my craft a little bit, come picking up kind of tools of the trade and be able to work out how to do it, and I became a lot more confident in my writing. There's no simple one simple trick. Uh, doctors hate them kind of stuff when it comes to writing, but there's hundreds of small little tidbits that you can pick up on, and you use them interchangeably, uh, which can elevate your writing. This series is going to, do, to focus on the academic writing method, as this is fairly straightforward and very bland, um, and it aligns to your grades, most importantly. Once you've mastered this method, you'll be able to pick up other methods, such as like technical writing or business writing, because eventually, once you graduate, you're going to do a lot of writing, uh, unfortunately to say, be it reports for clients or your own personal reports and whatnot, so you have to make sure you're good at report writing. So here is what is going to be on the series. There's actually two series. There's a report writing quickie and there's research writing quickies. The report writing quickies focus on the mainstay uh, kind of report sections you find in most reports. Um, while the research writing quickie focuses on the parts more commonly found in independent research kind of assessments. So potentially your, uh, your dissertation or like a mini project or something like that. But not technically the reports you get maybe in first and second year. Each episode is tailored towards cybersecurity students using exemplars uh, and report topics that you kind of you you would see in um, in a cybersecurity degree. Um, this is to help out when it comes to finding stuff online where it's like a psychology one. You're like, I don't understand this. Um, so if I've made it more like you, so therefore you can understand um, and be a bit more applicable to you, this could, uh, this should help eliminate the I don't get how this applies to me syndrome, which we find a lot when you come to online resources. I've also tailored these, re uh, as I've tailored these uh, lectures, as what I want them to be used by my students, but not just my students, they could be used by anybody if you want to share them. I don't know why you would go... And send in a group chat, go, oh, this lecture's pretty good, but you never know. There might be a different type of reader student coming in now. Each episode is standalone, so there's not really any independencies. You can watch them in whatever order, or if you just want to focus on a specific section, be it your, your references or the abstract, you can do that. But they all kind of do go together, and they kind of if you follow it, then you should be able to work in your report um, a lot more easily. And of course, you can binge watch the complete series in one sitting. However, even I can't stand my voice that much, so I, I good luck with you <laughs> if you try that. So here's a request. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if there's something you don't understand or you need help with in this series. That isn't an open request to then say, I don't, uh, can you write the report for me? What this is more meaning is if there's something you don't understand in the slides, let me help you. Or, even, if there's something that's really helped you, let me know about it. I want to see what's working and what's not. So don't forget to tell me if there's something that's really been instrumental in helping your writing. And if you have any constructive criticism, comments, stuff like that, tell me again. I'm constantly looking out for something I can do better, more resources and reason to look out for new episodes. So to summarise, this episode has addressed the mission statement for the series, of which there are two one focus on generic assessment writing and the other focus on additional elements required in independent research assessments. With two lecture series in mind, I wish to start a dialogue to refine and improve upon this method so where appropriate I can get in touch uh, to say this episode really helped or where the lecture could be better. With that, that is me. This episode's over. I hope you enjoy the rest of the series and good luck.